Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we will be making the handwriting text effect. So before we start, we just hit 431 subscribers. So uh, thank you all for your support and uh, let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Illustrator and uh, I draw my uh, thank you text and uh, I made every part in one separate layer like this. Now here in After Effects I will go to File, Import, File and then I will choose my uh, Adobe Illustrator file. I will hit Import and then choose Composition and uh, Layer Size. Hit OK. I will double click on this uh, composition to open it and then let's check the composition settings so let's choose 1080p 10 seconds hit ok select all the layers and then right click create create shapes from vector layer let's delete the illustrator files hit delete now i will open the first layer and then i will add a trim path and then we will add some keyframes so here I will set the end value to 0 and click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe and then let's go to 2 seconds and let's change the end value to 100 let's run preview this now I will select both keyframes I will hit F9 to make it easy ease we can also select both keyframes and uh, click on the graph editor and then select the both keyframes I will drag this uh, line here and I will move this one like this and we will have a better animation like it start fast and then go slow let's click again here on the graph editor to get back here I will select the trim path one Ctrl C to copy it or Command C in the Mac and then I will select all the layers go to the beginning of the timeline or click on the home button and then I will hit Ctrl V to paste the effect and now if we run preview it will be like this okay to make it more interesting you need just to move the layers like this something random to make it uh, random uh, animation now let's select all the layer and uh, hit you on the keyboard I will move the keyframes like this to make it uh, slower if you can't see this um, transparency you need to you need to click here on the toggle transparency grid to see the text okay so maybe you don't know that I will hit you again to close all the layers go to layer pre-compose and then hit OK I will duplicate this pre-comp with Ctrl D three times or whatever you want now here I will add a new solid this will be our background hit OK and I will move it to the bottom right click here effect generate for color gradient now let's change the uh, colors and I will choose some colors like this and uh, maybe now let's animate the background with alt key pressed click on the stopwatch here and we will write wiggle 0 0.5 comma 500 hit uh, enter and then I will copy this uh, expression again with alt key press click on the point 2 and we will paste the effect there same thing here and uh, again in point 4 so now we will have this uh, moving uh, background you can see it if we change the color for example to something like this one you will see that uh, it's moving 
select all the layers and right click effect generate fill and this will add a fill effect for every pre-composition so let's start with the top one I will choose the white color and then for the second one I will choose some color like this and the first one maybe yellow color select these two precomps and uh, move them in the timeline like this in order to get this uh, sequential effect okay so now let's run preview this one let's uh, change this color to orange maybe and uh, hit ok so uh, right now there is a small problem uh, you can see this uh, kind of uh, line and to remove that we need to add uh, some uh, inner outer key and I will add it here and then go to the edge here thin and uh, make it like minus 0 0.1 and it's gone there and uh, it's working fine right now select the bottom layer and uh, right click layer style and I will add drop shadow and uh, in the drop shadow I will adjust the size to 60 and uh, set the opacity to something like uh, 80% and uh, the distance is 5 so here is the our final uh, result I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. If you have any question or if you need any tutorial, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in another After Effects tutorial.